now we'll open up the kitchen and all the storage. First box is your Weber storage, nice and easy. Weber comes out, then you transfer it to your kitchen once your kitchen's out. Generator on the other side, it'll fit up to a two KVA generator. Nice big spacious kitchen. Two burner, Dometic stove, and plenty of bench space. So there's also a leg underneath to make your extension bench more stable. So you lift your bench up a little bit, lock in your legs, and that'll give you a nice sturdy platform. Okay, so once you've put your kitchen out, next two steps is to hook up your water and hook up your gas. Very simple, quick release fittings, nice and easy. So your blue hose is for water, now we'll do the gas. So your silver hose with bayonet fitting is for your gas. You insert it into your bayonet fitting and then I'll show you how to prime the stove. Take your dust cover off. So now I'll show you how to prime the stove once you've inserted your gas into the bayonet fitting. So all we do is you've got your dial, push it in, turn it to your high flame, then press down, allow your gas to prime up, hit your button, hold the button in for three seconds, release the button and your fire's started. So now I'll show you the fridge slide and where your fridge goes. So in your fridge compartment, we have all your lights and power options, rear area lights. So you've got ambient light when you pull up to a campsite in the dark and you can see what you're doing walking around in the dark. You've got a light over your fridge slide and then you've got a fan to keep the temperature down in your fridge box. So your power options for your fridges, an Anderson plug on the back here, because most fridges in the Evercool range now are coming out with Anderson plugs on them. And there's also two SIG points for other models of fridges. And now we'll get into the hub for power box. So in our power box, we've got 200 amp hour AGM batteries, and you've got your water level indicator, your lights so you can see what you're doing if you have to have a look in here to check your breaker switches, all resettable breaker switches in a hardcore camper, a USB, dual point so you can charge up your phone or your iPads and we've got the hardcore lighting solar controller already built in. So you've got your big red isolator switch once you turn that off for when you're traveling your whole camp is isolated all bar the Anderson plug in the fridge slide so that obviously your fridge stays cool. So up the front here we've got your water filling point for your 100 litre water tank and it's got a key that comes with the camper so you can lock it off and stop those little nasties getting in there. Other features on the trailer Hand pump for when you're finished setting up, packing up, and you just want to wash your hands nice and quick and easy. There's also a shower point on the chassis rail here. So you can either hook up a hose to hose the kids off, get the sand off them, or hook up a hot water on demand shower. 